voltage regulators. Voltage regulators look like this. This is a linear regulator and it is a LM7805. So what this means is that there's three pins here. There's your input positive, your ground and your output positive. Oversimplifying it, this means that any voltage you put here, as long as it's higher than the output voltage, this is a LM7805, this is a 5 volt regulator. So if I put 10 volts in here, we're going to get 5 volts out here. So this is a pretty inefficient regulator, but I like to use it because it is extremely simple to use. What happens to the voltage between 10 volts and 5 volts? Well, most of it just gets wasted as heat. So why do we use it? Well, this is very simple to use. So let's get into it. We know that we have our voltage coming in here from our power supply. And let's take our regulator. You can see the pins line up to the holes. Those pins are standard sizes. These legs are standard distances apart from each other. Here is our linear regulator mounted. Here we have our power supply rail going in. Here is our negative. Our negative wire, which is black, going to the middle pin here, which is our ground. Here is our input positive voltage here to that far pin, right? our input positive. And so that means here should be 5 volts. Let's um, put a few testing wires in and let's see what happens. Here is our positive. Here is our negative. Let's see what happens. So here we have our ground and our input positive, 18 volts. And I'm going to touch the ground and the output pin. And that's going to be quite nicely 4.8 volts. We'll round that up. We'll call that 5 volts. That's near enough.